Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts. Today I have a brand new set of Cutie Minis Christmas projects for you guys. This is kind of last minute, I know, but it's not Christmas yet, so you still have time to make these crafts if you do celebrate Christmas. If you're not familiar with what my Cutie Minis series is, it's basically a whole bunch of designs where I only use this 14 by 14 pegboard to make my bead projects. You don't even need to have this big pegboard so it's really great for beginners or just anybody who wants to make a quick easy and cute design for the holiday season. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and try these out. If you do you should definitely tag me at Kitty Crafts so I can see it and give it a thumbs up. All of my social media links are down below and let's get started with our first project. Firstly, I need to give a huge shout out to my mom for helping me create most of these designs. She was inspired to make some Christmas decorations and she came up with these really cute cutie minis Christmas patterns that I hope you guys like. I think they're really cute and I modified them a bit to my liking. So a huge thank you to cutie mom for helping me create these designs. Decorating a Christmas tree is one of my favorite traditions to do during the holiday season. I just like having these trees in my house and we have four different sizes right now with one of them being a white Christmas tree with rainbow lights. If you want to have a plain green pine tree then you can keep the design like this but it has a star on top and what I'm doing now is taking one bead from different spots away and replacing that spot with some colorful beads so that those are the lights and Christmas ornaments. You can make the decorations multicolored or have a color scheme, whatever you like. As long as you're satisfied with your Christmas tree, it's time to iron. And we've got parchment paper or ironing paper on top. Iron at a medium heat setting and then just go in circular motions over the beads until you can see that they're bolded through the paper. That's how you know that they're fused together. Then we do the exact same thing on the other side. I always iron both sides of my pearly bead projects. And then as it cools, you wanna leave a heavy boat on top so that it'll keep it flat. This is a fully ironed Christmas tree and I usually leave the beads at around 0.3 to 0.4 centimeters in thickness. This year I've been feeling extra festive because for the past few months I've been working at a skating rink that's essentially in a Christmas village where every building has decorations like garlands, bows, lights. It was super festive, the Christmas vibes were all there. I just never thought I would work at a skating rink, especially as an instructor. Um, but it was a job that was offered to me and I thought it would be a really good way to practice my own skating. Uh, last year I actually wanted to learn figure skating and I guess somehow I manifested a job at an ice rink where I can practice skating for hours every week. The thing was, when I was put in charge of teaching a bunch of preschoolers and children the basics of skating, I still felt like kind of an imposter since the other instructors they were hockey players figure skaters they spent years teaching i just know how to recreationally skate like i can go forwards and backwards i can stop but i couldn't do a lot of the fancy stuff that those other instructors could do even though you didn't really need that to teach preschoolers the last time i learned how to skate from an actual instructor was when some of the other instructors were born so i really tried my best to make lesson plans and honestly i was faking it till i became it and i guess i did become a skating instructor and that'll be on my resume as one of my past job experiences it's just funny because i originally applied to be a karate assistant but they said they needed skating instructors and skate patrol people so they got me to work at a rink for 14 weeks and it really gave me a lot of holiday spirit. Of course, I had to make a pair of shiny figure skates even though I still don't know how to figure skate. One of the really fun things that I got to do this Christmas season was participate in my first Santa Claus parade. I was responsible for passing out the Christmas hats and bringing some of the local high school students over to the truck that we had to decorate. And we just gave out candy canes and walked down the middle of the street along with the floats. 
But my first experience ever with a Santa Claus parade was when I was little and I was in the audience watching the floats go by. There were these clowns that were throwing candy out to the audience. And then this one clown decided to chuck a frozen solid Kit Kat bar at the audience and it happened to hit my face, which then became bruised. Um, so that was one of my earlier memories of a Santa Claus parade. I'm glad that this time I got to safely pass out the candy canes to the kids. While I was working at the ice rink one day, one of the rink managers asked my supervisor if he liked decorating. And he was like, no, but I think I know who does. And he gestured towards me, told him to come over and ask me. And I said, I love decorating. So of course I offered to help and I got to decorate the waiting area with cute garlands, bows, wreaths. It made the rink a lot more festive and the kids even thought it was really pretty. Just adding a little bow or a garland here or there can really spice up a place during the holiday season. And this bow here can be used to decorate a gift box or a bag for presents. By the way, for anybody who's trying to follow along with the patterns and this is going way too fast for you, you can always click on the gear button at the bottom right of the YouTube video and then you can make it go slower by going to 0.5 times speed or even less and then you can try to follow along. But what you can usually do is just pause the video at the finished template and then copy that down. The colors I'm using for this gift box are gold and red and you can of course change it to the colors that you like to make your own unique gift box. On the last day of skating class, some of the instructors drew this giant gingerbread house on the ice that looked so good. And we usually use bingo markers to draw on the ice. That's how we make the circuits, how we write the instructions and uh, like jump or go backwards for the kids to follow. And I think one of the most rewarding things about teaching skating was seeing how some of the preschoolers who could barely stand up or walk on the ice, they were starting to, to skate and be comfortable with moving forward and going fast on the ice. So it's really nice to see their growth and see how far they've come. But in the end, I gotta say, I'm not going to do it again. I'm not going to be teaching skating next year. It was fun for 14 weeks, but I just, I feel like I needed a bit more training or shadowing from a more experienced instructor. I just went into it with not a lot of uh, background in teaching skating and I honestly tried my best. I followed some old lesson plans that the instructors gave me and I try to get the kids to be motivated to to learn, but some, some of them just don't want to do it. So I guess it depends on the class and it gets easier with more experience, but um, I'm still looking for other opportunities and experiences to try out. All right, so here are six different cutie mini Christmas designs and a little bit of my workplace story time. Since I used ironing film with this one, they turned out so shiny and nice, which I love on the skates. And I added some little googly eyes on it to give it a face because all my cutie minis have a little face on them. Then get some string, put it through one of the beads, and then you got a pair of skates as an ornament. It kind of reminds me of the two turtle doves from Home Alone 2. Here's a gift box that I'm adding a festive little bow to using some tape and that makes it a lot cuter. These three will be tree ornaments. So good thing there's a bunch of holes in these so you can just get an ornament hook and stick it through one of the beads. Lastly, I'm making a cute little Christmas tree pot. I have this terracotta pot filled with white beads and then you can just stick your tree in to be a nice decoration. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and try some of these designs out. This is what I look like during my last few classes for skating. I had this cute little Christmas clip on my helmet and a lot of kids were really curious about it. I also wanted to show you guys this 
beautiful nutcracker. Every year I like to collect a nutcracker that has a different occupation. So this year's nutcracker is a hockey player to commemorate my time working at a, an ice rink and also um, my first time ever playing hockey. I did a stick and puck session at the ice rink where I just played around with the puck and learned how to skate with a stick. So this is my new hockey player that will be added to the collection. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great holiday and a happy new year. This is probably my last video for 2022. This year, I think I've just been trying to find a job, which is more important right now. Um, but it's it's been great exploring the world of work and I will see you guys in the new year. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more craft videos and I will see you guys next time with another cute craft. Bye!